Let's go. Fake name Abby. Good morning. Hi, good morning. You worked where, fake name Abby? What type of uh, industry? Um, I worked in a waxing salon. Okay, very nice. Where we do, we do full body waxing. Sure. Um, Absolutely. And someone at a different location was fired for giving special massages to the male client. <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we we found out because those same male clients would come to the other locations looking for the same service. And they also oh, come in like God. three times a week. Say, like, hey man, there's nothing more to wax. Yeah. Yeah. There is that. Something like that. Okay. Fake Dame Abby. One that second, you're sense, in the running. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's uh, there. We go. Uh, let me go. Uh, fake name Matt. Good morning. Good morning. All right, man. What type of industry was this in? A gym. A gym. Okay. okay. I, I, fake name, Matt. I've heard in the gym community, it's just you guys just go to the trenches with each other all the time. Uh, that, that appears to be the case. All right. So okay. what happened, brother? Yeah. So uh, my manager and one of the supervisors at the gym were doing uh, extracurricular activities sure. uh, Deep during stretching. working hours. But my manager, he forgot to tell his girlfriend about that. So his girlfriend actually called into the gym and uh, they caught him on uh, the CCTV cameras. Oh, <laughs> my God. Both of them ended up getting fired. Wait, yeah. where in the gym are they having the fun time? Hot tub. Oh, yeah. in like the locker room? Uh, actually, it was like a public hot tub, but they were doing it after the gym closed. Got you. Ew. Hey, can, without saying the gym, give us like... A hint. Uh, it's nicer than Jim. Okay. L- LT? I cannot say. All right. There okay. it is. We there, your family. One second. Fake name, Matt. You were in the running, brother. Uh, let me go. Uh, then we got some of these. Fake name, Nicole. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Hey, girl. What industry was this in? Fake name, Nicole? Um, it was an IT. Okay. And uh, what happened? So this coworker has been with the company for 27 years, and so she had recently gotten fired. It was a whole bunch of stuff, but um, you know, fighting with her boss, these like nasty, rude remarks, and eventually sure. the company was like, "Okay, we're done." So we're clearing out her desk, and there was like a stack of papers hidden, and she had copies of the CEO and all the like top people's corporate cards. Like, oh her- God! So she was. Yeah. Making ch- like charges on their card. Uh, they're still investigating it, but it was she was not supposed to have it, any yeah. of their cards. How would she even have gotten a copy of the card? We don't know. They're trying to figure it out. This is like That's crazy years that they're looking through. Damn. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Fake name Nicole. One second. You're in the running. We used to have a, a show card. We did. And uh, I didn't know about it until uh, our boss Aaron asked me about the charges, and it was Eric. Allegedly buying like protein powder okay. and samurai swords. He's got to be ready for you know. Anything. Absolutely, and that and that's why I said that's yeah. that's why I said. Let yeah. me go, uh, Valerie. Good morning. Good morning. All right, you're working in what type of industry, girl? I work in retail, like wholesale retail. Gotcha. And uh, coworker was fired for what? So I've had a lot of coworkers fired for inappropriate relationships with. with underling, but so we had one guy that was fired for stealing twenty five pounds of sugar. Twenty five pounds what? of sugar for what? He used to go outside to take the trash out from the bins outside, and he had a big gray bin that he would take outside, and he was smuggling sugar out in the big gray bin to his car. Four K. Why? Why? Is he selling it on the I side? Don't know why he needed that much sugar, and he couldn't pay the ten dollars for it. <laughs> Dude, oh my all right. god! All right, Valerie, one second. You're in the running. I just picture that guy getting back to his buddies, like, "Yo, I stole from work today. Money, not nah, better." I got, I got the hookup for sugar. Sugar is that code for the drug? No, no. Just domino sugar. No, it's like literally sugar. So if you guys want to bake something, I got you covered, fam. Literally some margaritas. You know, like salt in that rim? I got 25 pounds of sugar for you. That's not salt. You get these sugar rims. Okay. Yeah, dude. Sure. Yeah, even better. Uh, okay, let me go. Dude, there's so many. And uh, Sterling, Mike, good morning. Oh, good morning. Hey, man, you were working security for a construction site. And what happened? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, so they were, uh, so we were, you know, working security for a uh, construction site overnight. 
Uh, I happen to be the construction manager at the time in charge of all these people. And, you know, I'm sure people get kind of lonely there overnight, sure. especially working long 16 hour shifts. So absolutely. it wasn't uncommon for people to go play patty cake on the job sometimes. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Uh, so, you know, it happened to be one day we were in the control room where we monitored everything. They, Happened to install new cameras overnight ahead of time, and when we were flipping through them doing the checks, um, yeah, there, there they were. Look at having that. fun with the client in the room. Oh. Wait, client was in the room. Uh, yeah, the client was in the room, uh, just making sure we were doing our jobs on the new cameras. Sure. And they High got def. front row seats to this uh, this event. Yeah, absolutely, oh my C- God. cameras work. Okay. All right, Mike. One second, man. You're in the running. That's got to be one of those things where it's like you pull them aside, like, hey. Like, I have to fire you. Yeah. But they can't say anything back, right? It's like, it's like hey, like, I don't think they're, like, we don't need to, like, go back and forth about this. Yeah, like, there's video. Yeah. And the client saw. And the client, client was, like, literally here. Yeah. And at Parkville, Jesse, good morning. Hey, good morning. You're working in what industry, Jesse? Uh, the call center industry. Okay. okay. And, um, need you to tiptoe around a little bit, my guy, but what happened? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, my direct manager... I uh, was married to our QA manager. Nice. Uh, so, you know, those two are obviously in a relationship. No problems there. Sure. Uh, but then uh, they, you know, uh, got involved with one of our agents, uh, Tricycle Style. And, uh, <laughs> Tricycle uh, Style. Yeah. So, you know, the, I'm tiptoeing. No, but, I, uh, I love a good tricycle. No, uh, we appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So all three of these ladies, uh, you know, we're having a good time and, um, you know, HR found out because one time they got reckless and didn't work parking lot and people saw. They brought a tricycle uh, to work, Jesse? Yeah, in the parking lot. I don't know. Maybe they were trying to show it off. But, yeah, uh, absolutely, dude. They, uh, yeah, so anyways, all but the, the lowest person on the rung uh, was the only one that kept their job because, you know, everyone else is in a position of leadership. Sure. Can't really fire the lowest person because they could have been coerced. Who knows? So yeah, there is that. Uh, they, they stuck around for a very short time before they quit because everybody, of course, learned because it's a call center and yeah. everyone knows everything. Yep. There, sure. yep, there is that. Okay. Uh, Jesse, hold on one second. You're in the running. I think tricycle is the way we go. I think that's fine. It's a fun way to go. now on. Yeah.